Okay guys, so let's now take a look at total revenue, total cost, and how we can actually establish point of profit maximization by looking at TR minus TC. Okay, so we've got a uh, table drawn out here, which is just looking at our total revenue and total cost uh, situation for this given firm. We've then got our economic profit that we're calculating. So remember, that is your total revenue minus your total cost, which uh, in economic theory should therefore include your opportunity cost as well. So let's run through this uh, and just calculate our economic profit and then we'll plot out the total revenue and total cost curve together with the overall profit for the firm. Okay, so first up, total revenue minus total cost, where well, we can see that we start at zero output with minus 22. Uh, then as we come down through here, we go to minus 16, then it's zero. Moreover, we have uh, 24 profit now, but notice total revenue is now greater than total cost. We then have 40 uh, in terms of the economic profit generated. Once again, we have 40, and then we reach a point of zero once again, and then suddenly we're back down to a rather nasty situation where we've got minus 80. Okay, now from here, we can now actually uh, just put down our total revenue and total cost curves. So let's do this. Uh, now, starting off with our total cost, we know that this starts at a level of 22 because whether or not the actual firm produces output, they still need to pay rent or mortgage payments or business rates. So as we then draw up these lines, we can see that our total cost looks something like so. So there's our total cost line. So notice there is a, a point here where we're experiencing economies of scale. Uh, there's uh, increasing returns to scale. And therefore, we see this, uh, this gradient here eases slightly before then diseconomies of scale later set in and decreasing returns to scale are ev evident and therefore the gradient of the total cost curve becomes much, much steeper as output increases. Uh, now, if we then put in our uh, total revenue line, so let's now do this, uh, we can then see that this is a nice straight line because we're looking at a firm in a perfectly competitive market. They're gaining the same price for each unit of output they produce. We're going up in twos here, so we can therefore tally these points in a nice straight line. And it looks something like so. Okay, so what's really noticeable uh, about this is we have two points of zero, of course, here and here, and we can see our zero points at a level of four units of output, and again, uh, at 12 units of output here. So we know those are zero marks. There is no profit being generated, uh, no economic profit being generated at that point. But what we can also see, and let's just highlight this in uh, another color, is as the uh, firm begins operating, yes, it's making a loss, total costs are uh, greater than total revenue, but here, throughout this output level, uh, total revenue is greater than total cost. And round about here at uh, about nine units of output is where the actual gap between total revenue and total cost is at its greatest. So at this level of output, that is our profit maximizing level of output. Uh, but then total costs go on to actually exceed total revenue and the firm makes uh, economic losses. Okay, now if we then reflect this profit, how does this actually look? Well, let's now draw this up uh, on this little axis that I've drawn out here, where we've got the zero mark, we're going into negative figures and then again into positive, because if it's not profit, of course it's going to be losses. So let's just link those points together. And then we see suddenly a big, big fall in the actual situation facing the firm. So we can see that uh, any point here is where profits are, are really being attained uh, and the firm is making economic profit. 
but then as soon as they go beyond 12 units of output, or if they've got less than four units of output, we can see that a loss is also being sustained. So the firm would want to, of course, operate at a point where the gap between uh, total revenue and total cost is at its greatest. Okay, guys, I hope that's been useful. It's possible you could see uh, diagrams such as these cost, uh, sorry, uh, cost and revenue curves uh, here. So it's possible that you could see cost and revenue curves like this or a profit uh, illustration like that within your multiple choice questions. I hope that's been useful. Thanks, guys.